Okay, so this next technique is um, using stencils and on grooves together. So what you need for this is again a leather hard pot and your stencils, so your paper cutouts. And usually when I cut out stencils, I'm going to save both pieces, both the positive and the negative, or the negative and the positive, however you want to look at it, um, because I'll use both of them in my designs. Or if I don't use it in that design, maybe I'll use it at another point in time. So I like to save those. Okay, so I'm going to put some some stencils down to begin with so that I have some places that are left uh, white. So I've got one little maple leaf there so it just masks the clay and it's going to keep that white and do another one. You're going to gently get your stencil wet and I'll put this one is that just regular paper? Yeah, this is just um, newsprint paper without any print on it. But you could quite literally use newsprint paper. You can use any printer paper. Uh, the only paper that doesn't work well for this is uh, magazine type paper that's slick because it doesn't absorb water so well. It doesn't stick to there as well. Okay, so I've got those on there. And now I'm going to take this yellow on go. Let me switch these around. And I'm just going to sort of quickly paint this yellow on gobe on that surface. And now I did say that on gobes are what you see is what you get. So any streaks that you have, any brush marks, all of that will show. So I like to use a soft haired brush so that um, I don't get a lot of brush marks in there. And I have to give this uh, a minute or so for the yellow to get dry to the touch and when it's dry to the touch it's happening pretty quick i'm looking at the sheen on the surface and i can tell how much it's drying by that um, then i'm going to go back and do a second coat it's almost there i might be rushing it a little but i'll do a second coat on there there and that's just going to ensure that i have a nice bright yellow and if we look on the container here you can see there's uh, this is what our yellow looks like with glaze on it and this is what it looks like without glaze just so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's fired and now I can continue after this again dries to the touch putting more stencils on top so I can layer it so on this other side here um, I've got white leaves and I've got red leaves and I'm gonna have this yellow background. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. And your stencils, uh, they don't have to be very complex. So this is just a hole punch and regular paper that I, I mean, makes a fun pattern and it's really fast to make. How do you, well I can actually see, like in the right light, I can see there's a little ridge and then I can peel that away. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this on top of there. And like I said, you can use the, um, the vinyl cutters in the maker space, and it can create pretty complex um, stencils. I wanna make sure that as I'm putting this down that there's no little gaps, because otherwise the on-go will sneak under there. Gonna, yeah, thank you. I'm going to grab our cedar red. And this one's a little stinky. So you can use the vinyl cutter to make stencils. You can also cut them out by hand. Um, I've cut out some pretty elaborate stencils. If you got the time, you don't mind sitting there with an exacto blade, you can get some pretty cool things. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. And now in the meantime, um, maybe I'll just put like another leaf. Okay, let's 
can just uh, make sure it's facing the opposite way. And I'm just going to wet that, press it down. One more time. And went outside the edge a little bit. I'm just going to take my sponge and clean that off. Even clean up that yellow line that way. Okay. Now usually I'll wait until my um, until I can see that my ongobe is dry to the touch, so it doesn't have a sheen to it anymore. But in the purposes of uh, wowing you. I'm going to brush it a little bit. Okay, so this is the magic of stencils. I only got one ooh. <laughs> Come on! So, I mean, what I love about this technique is that you get really sharp, crisp imagery. Um, and then with my yellow one, I'm going to search here for a, an edge, a corner. And then I can just peel that stencil up. And I got another little Japanese maple leaf. Find, the, find an edge, just scrape with your needle tool, and then you can pick it up. Okay. So that's going to be the stenciling. Technique. Okay. 